Oh, look at that color. Hi, I'm Gurpreet Gariwal. Welcome to another episode of Red FM Rasoi, brought to you by Shed, which supplies a variety of dals, atta, rice, so do make sure you guys check them out. And of course, I have the one and only with me, the master celebrity chef, Rajiv Arora. I'm super, super excited today. Today, we are going to um, have a different roles. Ooh. Okay. So my sous chef Gurpreet is going to cook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to be teaching you. All right. I'm so excited about this. What are we making? We are making something called butternut squash soup. Ooh, butternut squash soup. soup. Okay. Let's start with a little bit of butter in it. Okay. And am I putting the entire butter into this? No. Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought maybe you'd make it more creamy like you do, you know? <laughs> You're going to take one, or butter, I think okay. one tablespoon of a butter. Is that about right? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. I bet <laughs> you can use a small knife right in front of you. All right. There we go. Yeah. And now we're just going to add some onions into it. Okay, so are we putting the entire onion? The entire onions into All it. Alright. There we go. I'll do a little shake like you do. Yes. <laughs> I feel like a chef. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to add some garlic and some ginger into it. Okay. Are you angry at somebody today? Oh yes. Okay, now remove the all list your anger. Goes on. <laughs> <laughs> remove all, all right. the anger on it. Okay, so it? I'm just going to... Yes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. I feel like this is like I feel like I'm in a karate yes. class right now. You're in a karate class. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. You did good. Okay. So you take this and there it goes into it. Okay. And sort it a little bit more. Okay. We need the onion to get nice and means it has to be a little bit more softer. Now the next one you're gonna do is you're gonna add some spices into it. Bay leaf into it. You're adding some chili powder. Now we add coriander into it. You add turmeric and we add some cumin into it. And you don't need to be scared go. of it. There you go. <laughs> I should have just done this in the first there go, the first no? <laughs> so I, again, these don't have to be chopped finer. No, or... no. Okay. It's all going to be rough chopped. We're adding some cinnamon into it. Going right into that. There we go. So why cinnamon? To enhance the flavor and give it a nice winter warm to it. Ooh. That's where we add cinnamon into it. Okay. And now you're gonna add some butternut squash. Oh, okay, so this is the main... Yes. The main ingredient right here. All right. Almost looks like mango. Now my dear sous chef. Yes. You're gonna add some vegetable stock into it. Okay. And that's almost... So does all of this go in? All of it goes into it. Oh, I remember the technique. Yes. From last <laughs> time. So that it doesn't splatter doesn't on your splatter. beautiful clothing. There you go. All of that goes into it. Here comes the twist. You're going to add some jalapenos into it. Oh, jalapenos. Yes. Okay. So just You can cut it any way you like. Okay. Maybe like this. Yeah, you can make it quarters too. There we go. And now, we're going to add some coriander stems into it. Oh, okay. Why stems and why not the entire the leaves? I feel the stems has more flavor than the leaves by itself. Oh, good to know. I did not know that. So I'll take those stems. Okay. And I'm going to put those stems into the soup as Directly well. Directly into it. Yes. All right. This is like easy. You don't have to really do it much. Okay. So the soup's been cooking for about 20 minutes now and it's been resting for about 10 minutes. Now what do we do? We add some salt. Okay. And we'll add some pepper after that. That's good. Yep. And now we add some okay. fresh pepper into it. And pepper can be... As per your taste. If you want to go going. Fine, yes. Remember we added jalapenos. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so then maybe we should stop. <laughs> we take a blender. Okay. And we just make a nice blend. Just buzz it up. There we go. Keep going. Oh, there we go. And okay. you're almost... Is that done? I think you're done. Pull it off. Yeah, it All looks right. nice and creamy. I think it's a little bit thick. So what I would do is we'll add a little bit of more water into it. Okay. So add a little bit of water maybe that should be good. Okay. That is maybe one fourth cup of the water. Okay. And you mix it. And now what we'll do is we'll add some cream into it. And you can go all of it. All of it. All right. Let's make it healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that color. I wonder if you enjoyed cooking. I had a lot of fun. Obviously it was great having you right next to me so I could just refer to you, but it was absolutely like very um, fulfilling 
good. And my pleasure to eat yours. So. And I bet I think it's going to taste really well too. Here it is. Cheers. Mm. Smells divine, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> because we add cream into it, so it smoothens mm -hmm. up as well. So you don't feel as spicy. It is a spicy butter squash soup. Yes. So you have the spice to it. It gives a nice warmth for the winter, mm. but it's not it just kills the whole flavor. We get a nice flavor as well. Yes. Oh. That's the whole intention. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really excited and I'm definitely excited for all of our viewers to try this at home because it's not only fulfilling for the tummy but the heart as well that you've accomplished something. So thank you so much. Oh my pleasure, you enjoyed yourself. Definitely try this at home and remember this was brought to you by Sher which also supplies a variety of dals, rice, atta and all that good stuff so do check it out and make sure you guys subscribe to Red FM's YouTube channel and make sure you click the little bell so you get the notifications on for our next recipes and do add your comments and share on Facebook. Thank you so much. Till next time. Yes. Bye.